Whitaker from our state's governor is aiming to help officials come up with a plan to address housing. Governor Jared Polis signed it today. 11 News reporter Aaron Vitito is live in downtown Colorado Springs for us tonight. Aaron, it addresses what he calls a housing issue that he says will only get worse. He says the state is growing and affordable housing is actually trending farther away from the workplace. But the Colorado Springs Chamber and EDC says the city is better equipped to deal with affordable housing and add more of it than most of the state. My initial thought is this is uh, this appears to be a step in the right direction. Dave Dazlich is with the Colorado Springs Chamber of Commerce. He says this new executive order instructs some agencies to find efficient ways they can house a growing population. The state estimates nearly two million more people will be living here in Colorado in 2050. And Governor Polis says he's working to make sure the process to house them is easier. Improving livability is really the, the short version of how we grow in a way that doesn't increase traffic or worsen air quality, is more water efficient. Uh, all of these values that we have, it's fundamentally about our quality of life. State officials say more than a third of Coloradans are spending more than 30 percent of their income on housing. But both the governor and Dazlich say Colorado Springs is in a better position for growth. Uh, the governor himself has said, Colorado Springs is an example of how to do it right. Something Dazlich says he hopes will continue in the future. It's a conversation that's far from over. This isn't a silver bullet, but we certainly appreciate the mentality of looking for additional efficiencies to lower that barrier of entry and to remove obstacles, especially at the governmental level, to bring more units online. Last year, Colorado voters also approved a proposition that dedicates an estimated $300 million toward affordable housing through the state's budget. Live in Colorado Springs, Aaron Vitito, KKTV 11 News. All right, Aaron, thanks.